These are things that aren't significant enough for their own TikTok, but I want to talk about them anyway. When I was a teenager, my parents recorded me singing karaoke, burned those sounds onto a series of CDs, and that was the soundtrack at their mom and pop carpet shop on full volume through the time I was in college, which is the most mom and pop shop thing to ever mom and pop shop. Like, thank gosh Alexa came out. This next one, I don't know if it's a dog thing, a Yorkie thing, or a Mo thing, but Mo loves flies. Like, if he sees a fly, he will snap at it like a Venus fly trap. If they come near him, watch out. This one is pretty self-explanatory. My mom broke her foot in a jazzercise-induced accident. We've all been there. So she had to get a motorized cart when we were food shopping, and um, my dad and I told her we would food shop for her. But no, she refused. She loves food shopping, legitimately. But she was nervous to drive the cart around. My dad and I were like, come on, you can do it. And I guess we pumped her up so much. She really started zipping along. And this random guy yelled at her for being a maniac. It's many years later, and thankfully she's finally recovered from the embarrassment of that man's remark. She recovered from the broken foot like 15 years ago. This next one is very niche, but if you get it, here I have a memory unlocked. Do you remember Gordoon from Six Flags? Allow me to refresh your memory, AKA re-traumatize you. This is the clown who wears a uh, bunch of fake legs and uh, <laughs> you're at Six Flags. It's all like Superman rides and stuff. And they go, come on, come see the show. And this is the show. We were so confused. This next one, I just, <laughs> my grandparents love Nestle. They make a point of constantly reminding us of that, but they don't call it Nestle. They call it Nestles. We don't correct them, like, directly, but we say Nestle a lot, like, would you like your Nestle? And they always go, sure, I'll take my Nestles. So, lost hope. I shouldn't even tell this next one. <laughs> my friend and I went to the opening of Avengers Endgame. We were very, very excited. We were not children. We were in our mid-twenties. And we were so excitable that a man in front of us turned around and went, you two, shh. And then the look on his face when he realized that we were not children, but a couple of professional 20-something-year-olds. In our defense, it was during the trailers. I've tried to talk about it, she's still not ready. And then this one, okay, so shy people will understand this. I hope you'll understand this. I'm an only child, and at the point when this story happened, I was like 19, and I'd always gone on family vacations where it was just me and my parents, right? So we would go in the pool, and you know, as a kid, I would find other kids to play with, but as I got older, I wouldn't approach anybody at the pool until I was 19. And there were a bunch of people in the pool playing volleyball. And I thought, well, you know what? Why shouldn't I go join them? So I went back and forth in my head for a few minutes, like, should I, shouldn't I? You know, the introverts to turn them all off. I finally decide to. I'm like, hey, can I play volleyball with you guys? And they like hesitated. And then they were like, uh, sure, sweetie. So I'm playing with them. And I'm like so proud of myself. And then my parents came by. My mom told me later that they weren't just random people in a pool. They were having their family reunion. <laughs> and they just crashed it. But like, how did I know that? 